Welcome to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. Come on, baby. That's a giant. With James Holtz and the IDO fishing team. On the ice, chasing the hottest bites. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Hey everybody, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors and on today's show, we're gonna try to answer a question we get from viewers all the time and that's if they're looking to catch one big walleye, one giant walleye of a lifetime through the ice, what body of water should they be targeting? Now there's dozens of fisheries across the Midwest and Great Lakes that have true trophy potential. Rainy Lake, Lake of the Woods, Mille Lacs Lake, Green Bay, Bay of Quinte, all these bodies of water have true trophy potential for an angler looking to ice that walleye of a lifetime. But in the last couple of years, one body of water has really been making my ears ring from guys that do nothing but chase big walleyes through the ice, and that's Lake Winnipeg up in Manitoba. I keep hearing about huge fish in almost unbelievable numbers. So on this episode, In-Depth Outdoors pro staffer Cal Svihel and I head north to Lake Winnipeg in search of that one big bite. And of course, as you're going to see, you know, we're looking for one fish. It turns into dozens. So stay tuned. You're going to love this show. There he is. This is such a blast. You know, most of the winter we spend uh, our time fishing real lethargic fish, using live bait, fishing real slow. Here on Winnipeg this time of year, the fish are just tuned up and we get to fish hardware. Any bait that rattles right now or makes a lot of vibration is really doing the damage. And that's a quarter ounce blade bait, bee fish and tackle. And you can really be very aggressive with these baits. Uh, I think partly that's due with to, to the water clarity. It's very stained. So that strong vibration of the blade bait or any rattling bait really calls these fish into the baits. But as far as sealing the deal, they're really just gang rushing these baits, pounding them, I mean, that's completely in that fish's mouth. So that's just a real typical Lake Winnipeg greenback. They do get so much bigger here. I mean, this lake is just renowned for kicking out eight, 10, 12, 14, and even 16 pounders on a rare occasion. I've never caught a walleye over 11 pounds through the ice. So if I can top that on this trip, that will be a fantastic deal. I'd say, oh, he's about a pound and three quarters, maybe two pounds. Probably a little bit below our average for the trip today. Would make a great eater, but we're gonna let him go. See you later, buddy. All right. I hope I get to do that about uh, two or three dozen more times, Mr. Calvin. It is a fun feeling. That's what we're fishing. Quarter ounce, bee fish and tackle blade bait called the B3, pink and white. Working like magic right now. You know, one thing I want to point out is we're not tipping these blade baits with bait, which would be a minnow head or a full minnow. You can do that, but the disadvantage is uh, it actually decreases the amount of vibration you'll get out of these blade baits. And that's what we're relying on to get these fish to come in beneath our holes. Uh, there's a lot of fish down there, but the water quality, the water clarity is so poor, they have a hard time finding an individual bait. So it's that, it's that vibration that we really want to key on. Now, if you do run into a situation where the fish are very lethargic, where they're coming in, eyeing baits, but they won't commit, then go to that minnow head. But ideally, start without bait first. Seems to work much better. Back in a hole. What we're doing with these blade baits is, you know, we're in shallow water. Uh, basically, from where my transducer's hanging, uh, I'm in six foot of water. And you give that blade kind of a rip, rip, and then slow it down. Any fish in the area must feel those vibrations they come in to inspect. If you keep ripping, when that fish shows up, more often than not, they just leave. But because I rip and then just go into real subtle jig strokes, they think it's a food item and they're willing to chase it a little bit. All right, cow. Chunky monkey walleye here. Nice fish. We talked a lot about ripping the blades, calling these fish in because of this dirty stained water, but this fish shows it really well. I want to mention this, this lateral line. This is what senses that rattle from the blade bait. 
This is what draws the fish in. The subtle jigging motions is what triggers that fish to bite. So nice chunky, I don't know, 19 and a half, maybe 20 inch fish, if that. Um, let her go. Looks obviously looks like a female, so we'll let her go. Wow, Gonzo, quick. Take it. There he is. <laughs> this is just a gas. These fish just do not behave like normal winter walleyes at all. Whew, nice. <laughs> There's those greenbacks. You know, I don't know what the primary forage is. Um, I've heard smelt, perch, probably a combination of the above. But whatever it is, they're awful aggressive towards anything that we seem to put in front of them. There's that pink and white blade. We've experimented with some colors today. Uh, due to the water clarity, pink and white really seems to be what they're after. It's been a while now, uh, for, uh, for me anyway, that I haven't caught a fish that's come in that I've seen on my flasher. Uh, they might be a little hesitant, but we've been able to catch just about every fish that we get on our flasher. So uh, no real need to change up any colors or try any new baits. You know, we're not having any fish that we're not uh, converting. So really all we need to do now is just find some of those gigantic Lake Winnipeg walleyes. We heard yesterday that a guide by the name of Lee Noland uh, got a 14 pounder. Oh, that's a heck of a fish. That one's gonna need a few more years to get to that size. There we go. Uh, they're like little emeralds, that green on the top of them. Definitely one of the cooler features I've seen in a fish in a long time. But uh, I just wanna see a lot more of it. That one, probably about 19 inches. I wanna see a fish uh, about 12 inches longer than that. Uh, they're here. I just need to find the right hole. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better, smarter, faster? Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham, tech that makes anglers happy. Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary Otter Sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the hottest bait below the ice. Thorn Brothers is your ice fishing headquarters, offering a huge selection of ice fishing gear from ice tackle to ice houses. Thorn Brothers has the best prices on brands you rely on to help you put more fish on the ice. Looking for a custom ice rod? Our in-house custom rod shop makes the most sensitive ice rod you've ever laid your hands on. Stop into our new store located off Highway 65 in Blaine, Minnesota, or browse our large inventory online. Thorn Brothers, helping you make this your most enjoyable ice season ever. Oh, this feels like a much bigger fish. I'm gonna go on a back reel here. Just thumped it. Get that transducer out of there. All right. Let's see what I got. Oh, you can just see those much bigger head shakes. I just punched a new set of holes. Oh my word, check this out. Ho, 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 that's called a step in the right direction. What a gorgeous fish. We're really coming into that prime time now. Probably got about an hour and a half before dark. Yeah, we've got real poor water clarity, but I bet these fish in the shallow water are gonna keep feeding right up till sundown. I'm gonna really have to go in after this. Of course, barbless hooks, mandated by Manitoba. 
you know, I don't know that I've lost a single fish that I've hooked up. So I'm not seeing any reason to not be completely, uh, you know, behind the barbless push. What a super fish. You know, if we don't get that 28, maybe even a bigger fish here in this last couple hours of the day, I'm going to be really surprised. But I mean, wow, we're talking about walleyes as long as your arm there. Down the hole, mama. Make a whole bunch more. Look, kind of moved off to my own over here, away from everybody, away from the group, and finally hooked up with a, a little bit low, low 20s fish here. We're just getting past that midday bite, and I think these bigger fish are starting to come in right now. So now's the time that uh, we really want to focus on these bigger fish. Um, hopefully these bigger females start to move in here to uh, feed in the shallow water. Once again, we're still remaining in this, you know, nine foot of water, four foot of ice. So these big fish are definitely on the chew and they're definitely on the move. Let this nice low mid twenties go back into the depths of Lake Winnipeg. Thanks, sweetie. I think I got a better fish here. You know, one thing that always seems to be true, the bigger fish are so much more aggressive. I didn't really get a chance to see this big fish come in on the flash, which is kind of a blur and then the impact. That feels definitely bigger than those 18s and 19s I've had of late. Let's see if I can't get that transducer out of there. And we're running so much cord to get below the ice because the ice is so thick. The fish will get wrapped up in it once in a while. All right. This is awesome. You know, so much, ooh, you know, look at this. Look at how these fish engulf those blades. Just gone. Okay, well, he's, he's tempting me. He wants me to get a hook in my finger. But what a fish. You know, so much of a successful trip to Lake Winnipeg is timing the weather, and we just nailed it today. It's gorgeous. Light winds, I bet you it's three to five miles an hour. Great temperatures, beautiful fish. I mean, just look at that one. You know, I love catching walleyes. I don't care what color they are, but these greenbacks are really pretty something special. So unique. And any walleye that'll do that, woof a blade like that, late in the winter, this is when they're supposed to be lethargic. Far from it, they're all fired up. You know, it's quite the blessing. Catch a day like this, perfect conditions, aggressive fish, and we're just climbing that size ladder. You know, 17 inches, 18, 19, that's a low 20 inch fish. Now, I'll tell you right, right now, I'm already happy with the outcome of this trip. I don't need to catch that 28 inch fish. If I do, that's just icing on the cake. Back you go, sweetheart. Fat and healthy. You know, one of the things that's so great about these blades, uh, they're inexpensive. They come in a variety of sizes, wide variety, and you can get them in just about any color pattern you want. Uh, we're fishing very bright patterns because of the stained water conditions. Um, you know, if we got a little cloudy uh, conditions, maybe some overcast, I might concentrate more on something uh, with something that glows or maybe even some darker colors. But uh, right now, these real bright white pink blades from V-Fish and Tackle have just been the charm. <laughs> Love it. Hello, I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish, or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish? 
better. Smarter. Faster. Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham. Tech that makes anglers happy. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the hottest bait below the ice. Well, if it takes uh, six or eight holes to get a nice fish, I guess that's what it is. It is what it is. You're absolutely right. All right, I'll punch uh, about eight more here behind these sleds. Seems to be about the right depth range. There's just not a lot of fish up here. Right, just got to pick off those aggressive ones. Keep moving, keep drilling. Well, we get three fish out of the, these eight holes. I mean, yep. that's not bad. I'll not take bad that all. anywhere. Already. <laughs> well, I'm about to punch some more holes, and uh, I'm sure you've noticed that we're all running extensions on our augers today. Uh, the ice is uh, about 36 to 40 inches thick and I want to give just a couple of pointers about gear uh, dealing with that thickness of ice and uh, the reason I bring it up is uh, punching with an extension changes the way you have to deal with uh, the chips that are coming up from the hole. Uh, you have to clear the ice chips once you're deeper into the ice than you're flighting. And the reason that is the chips keep getting brought up the hole and they'll build up in that ice hole above your flighting and they'll literally turn to concrete. They'll get so hard that you won't be able to extract your auger. And uh, a lot of guys come here with a full auger with an extension and they go home with nothing but a power head. What you end up having to do is come on down and unbolt the auger shaft from the power head, the shaft is gone. So just want to save you that hassle uh, and the cost that's associated with it, remember to clear your chips. And the second thing I want to talk about uh, re with regards to punching holes, and it really doesn't have anything to do with an auger, it's the clothing you wear. And because we're punching through such deep ice and bringing up so much snow and ice, the clothing we're wearing today is extremely important. Obviously, waterproof uh, is just a, a basic requirement. Uh, you're going to be soaked basically from the knees down all day long. Uh, my choice in this situation, snowsuit all the way. Uh, you can really tell that um, this garment is appreciated in this area because we're up here in Manitoba and we've seen so many guys out here in snowsuits. They might have a, you know, a, a lesser expensive uh, ice house. They might be fishing with inexpensive rods, but when it comes to clothing, staying warm out here in Manitoba, snowsuit's the choice, man. So uh, remember, clear those chips when you're punching uh, with these extensions and uh, you won't have any issues. Uh-oh, Holst. Donkey. Look at that. Look at that head uh -oh, shake. Uh-oh, Holst. <laughs> yep. That head shake. Nice. This is what this is what it is right here. I'm not sure if I should leave my gloves on or not. It's gotta be like we could gotta be careful with that eight-inch hole. <laughs> just lip on it. <laughs> oh, One of the advantages that. of the gauntlet gloves is go in there after them. Wow. Smoking. Wow, no. that is an absolute different class of fish there. Just barely, look at that. Wow. Unbelievable, dude. Wow. That is a gorgeous fish. I got a tape measure here if you want to. What's your guess? I, I haven't caught any big fish all day, so I'm going to say maybe 25, 26. That's right out there towards 27, bud. Wow. You got a little bend in the fish yet, too. Nice. Oh, absolute beautiful That's fish. Look at that thing. 27 inch fish is going to weigh about eight, eight pounds. <laughs> yeah, look at that belly. You know, my, I don't have big hands, but my hand is gone. You know? Look at that thing. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Certainly a true beast, and I do appreciate this, so I'm going to give her a farewell. Oh, wow. Look at that 80 inch hole. The fish is completely gone. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Awesome. You've fished here before, so right. you've, you've probably experienced this, but uh, you've, I mean, I've ice fished a lot, gone to a lot of cool places, and this is incredible. 
It is. It's um, everything you hear about, everything you read online, you newspapers. I mean, even other people have done what we're doing, you know, filming shows. And you have to experience this to really take it all in. And the fishery can put out world-class fish, and right there's an example. Well, you do hear about 14s, 15s, and even 16-pounders. So, Absolutely. You know, that'll keep a guy punching holes and, you know, paying real close attention to that Markham because the next fish could be one could be of, it. Mm -hmm. of a lifetime. Absolutely. All right, man. All right. I can't catch him talking here. <laughs> Congrats. Thanks. Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary Otter Sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. Hello, I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. That's a blast. You can just tell the difference in the size of these fish from the head shakes. You know, they're not gonna make huge runs because it's so shallow. Well, I wish I had my gloves on. Oh. Yeah, you stick your hand in there. <laughs> Here we go. I should just keep those gloves on just to lip them. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's like a parade of big walleyes. I've never fished anywhere where I've caught this many big walleyes in a day, ever. Look at that. Man, when they take them sideways like that, a lot of hook. There we go. What a gorgeous fish. I'll take that all day. They're just so girthy. Back you go, mama. All right. This is like walleye fisherman's dream. Been a lot of places, done a lot of walleye fishing. Never caught fish like this with this much consistency. And the sun's back, Cal. Don't worry, it'll snow in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh man, you know what? We got a little bit of a storm front come through here. Just a real quick ribbon of snow. Ooh, it's dropping. It's not really snow. It almost looks like really soft little hail pellets. And this fish just comes screaming up off the bottom. Feels big. Just based on the head shakes, it's a big fish. Oh yeah, look at the snoot on that one. Oh, here it comes. Oh yeah, look at that. Just green goodness. I mean, look at that. That's why they call them those greenbacks. It almost looks like lizard scale skin. Just gorgeous. I'm in love with this place. That is a mouthful of blade for that fish. Barbless hooks pop right out. You know, that's the same $2.99 blade bait that I've been fishing all day long. I can't even, you know, offer a guess how many big fish we've caught on it how many pounds worth, but what a gorgeous fish. Maybe it's just the light right now, but it just looks phenomenal. All that green, all that blue across the top of the back of that fish. But we're gonna let her go. She is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that, just fills up my arm. I love that shot. What a fish. All right, back in the hole she goes. All right, sweetheart. Yep, full of feist. 
I just love it. You know, this is that satisfied feeling an angler gets when uh, a plan comes together. You know, we've worked pretty hard today. We've punched a bunch of holes, but uh, boy, we sure have caught a bunch of nice fish. My first trip here will not be my last. One of these days, maybe I'll actually catch it during the prime time and I'll get to see what uh, Lake Winnipeg's all about. But if I don't, I tell you what, this is a very high bar that's been set today. Nope. I didn't. No way. No way. Oh. You still got him? Come here. Is he still there, Cal? No. Ah, oh, bummer, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I suppose he come up and got a snoot full of slush and snow and popped off, huh? Yep, exactly. Well, mine wasn't popping off. He's got the whole face full there. That's a heck of a bracket, buddy. Yeah. Once again, just filled those holes again. I know. <laughs> Hey, this is, this is that uh, time of the show where we provide a little motivation for you guys the next time you're out on the ice. This is called immediate gratification. I hardly had the auger down. I walked to that hole, Kel walked to this hole, thump, 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 two fish on the ice. So, Instantly. you know, yeah, if that, if that doesn't get you up out of your seat on the ice, in your ice house and get you out there punching holes with the auger, nothing will. <sighs> Much less four feet of ice. I know. <laughs> God, they're nice fish. It's beautiful colors. They're just so close. Yeah. You know, we're, we're looking for that eight to 10 pounder. That's the only thing that could make this day any better. Mm -hmm. It's just been Absolutely. phenomenal. And you know, um, this is probably a great time just to, to end the show. We'll do a lot more fishing, but right. there's probably not a lot left to show. So from Cal and I, I just really want to thank everybody for watching this week's show. Uh, we're here on Winnipeg, Lake Winnipeg, excuse me and the fishing is phenomenal and what's really got me pumped up besides the great time with Cal and the super fish is that the locals are still sitting on shore saying it's not quite time yet. The fishing really hasn't peaked so uh, we do have that to look forward to here in the next week and a half before the season closes on April 1st but you know for my experience first trip here I mean just what a phenomenal experience. Yeah it's all the hype that I've been talking about for, for a while now and glad you could go come up with me. So. Alright man thank you. Thanks for watching guys we'll see you next week. Mine first. If you enjoyed today's show, let our sponsors know. In-Depth Outdoors is brought to you by Markham Technologies, one step ahead. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. Custom Jigs and Spins, the hottest baits below the ice. FXE Snowsuit, the science of warmth. And Thorn Brothers, your fishing specialty store.